Ti o ba fe gba iwe ipe lo ni iroyibo kan si agbejoro agba iya afin tokun bo olagbaye lori era aye lo jara facebook tabi lori youtube tabi lori instagram o si le pe won si le ise won brightway immigration and asylum practitioners lori ero 0208309888 tabi ni ilu eko sori ero ibare ni sori yi 0813456663319 a o ni ja yin ni ton mo Good afternoon and welcome back onto this program How to Regularize Your Status. My name has not changed, Lawyer Tokumbo Olagbaye, and as such, this is a platform that will deal with the issue of immigration and nationality law in the United Kingdom. As you will be aware, I am a solicitor of the Supreme Court of England and Wales, and at the same time, I am a senior legal practitioner in immigration and nationality law, which means that I have both certificates as a solicitor and as a senior immigration practitioner in the UK. That gives me the opportunity to know the in and out of the immigration laws in the UK and when I give the advice I always stand by my advice ladies and gentlemen what we are having today is about the issue of a spouse that came into the United Kingdom on entry clearance uh, visa as a spouse but then there is so much going on in her relationship with her husband the question she needs she asked me to ask you is whether she should continue to endure the abusive relationship for the purpose of waiting to get a final um, indefinite leave to remain. Don't forget that she's just only been granted the first one, but the too much of sovereignty is going on, and it's not a physical abuse, but emotional and financial abuse. To the extent that as part of the ab abuse, you will be able to listen to some of the things I will bring to your light here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on 07908. 62240. If you want to join our program, you are more than free to join our program. Listen to this. Don't worry, I'll be sitting there for you. You are definitely in an abusive relationship, madam. I have not seen my daughter in six years. He <sighs> promised to bring this girl for me. Okay, now, yesterday I was telling him, my daughter, please put in her application. Mm -hmm. Please make me like this. Mm. That's another reason why I came. I don't tell Nigeria. If I move out now. Listen to the woman, she's the one crying now. Her voice is recorded because she permits me to do it. So what exactly do you want me to do for you, madam? I need advice. I need advice on what to do about moving out and What is the name of the women organization that you said you are with? Solis. Solis. And where are they? I'm then, um, then sort of, I even came to this one in Woolwich, they call it um, Migrants Home, because all these people they have said, they promised to give me supporting documents at any time, if there's anything I need. Wow. So you are considering moving out of the house? Normally those who know me in the community knows that I don't normally encourage women to leave. But the situation where you are this at the situation you are at the moment now, there is no two ways about it. If you don't come out of the situation, the situation will come on top of you. You know, because you are in an abusive relationship, but it's not physical. You know. Emotionally you are being um, tormented. Psychologically you can see that you have been tormented, tormented. So, um, <clears throat> could we not relate to Solis and know exactly what they plan to do for you first, before I can give my own advice in this situation? You know, I think we should relate to them first and, and know what they are doing. Because, um, the home office, home office will need to be notified as soon as possible that you are getting out or you are out. To do that, there has to be a letter from both the organizations that you have had contact with lately. You know, clean your, uh, wipe your face, madam. Wipe your face. 
wipe your face. It's a total domestic violence. Um, I, I see this nearly all the time. Did you say that he goes to Nigeria to, 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 to humanize, or what are you saying? Or is he married in Nigeria? But he's, but he's currently going out with a prophetess in Nigeria. Oh my God. And the prophetess is married. He, he has taken that prophetess out of the husband's house and rented a place, a house for that prophetess. Rented a shop. Now listen carefully to this uh, thing. Listen to this audio. Her husband, because of a prophetess, abandoned her, maltreating her. Because of a woman of God that's supposed to be in charge, supposed to supposed to cancel people in marriage, supposed to cancel people on a, on a, on a behavior that is not warrant the will of God. Now, is that the so-called person that take over this person's life, marriage? Listen carefully, oh. To say about listening, you need gain a lot. When you begin, now how the the man get into the hands of the past uh, prophetess, it is not clear here. But because he, he is in the he is in the hook of a prophetess of a lady in Nigeria, he has abandoned his family here in the UK, and he is the one that brought this woman from Nigeria on entry clearance as a spouse into the united kingdom yes i will do the number for you myself don't worry i'll do the number i'll do the number don't worry don't forget don't forget that follow me on it don't send the message Seven nine zero eight six two eight. Or up on who will cover any robo. Me tea de mon And the carnival bomb you tea de. Now, the situation here is that for a man or a woman to bring his or her partner from overseas, you will agree with me as a lawyer and as another person that have been in that situation, if you have been there before, I haven't been there, you know, but as a lawyer, I can vividly testify that it costs them a lot of stress and money to get it done. So for all of you that your husband or your wife brought you into the UK on a spouse visa, I think you, it's about time you start appreciating them. Husband or wife brought you to UK, you will know that it cost them a lot of money. So if this man, if this man vividly does not love her, she, 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 he wouldn't have spent that so much money to bring her into the country. He would not have spent that money into the country. Now, what went wrong in between the journey is what remains mystery. All of a sudden, he changed his mind. All of a sudden, he changed his mind and he changed his attitude and changed everything to the extent that when is she supposed to go for a renewal, for the second renewal, which is supposed to be the, the last part of the five years route, the man intentionally did not submit his document so that they can put that lady on a 10 years route so that she can continue to suffer under him. So they put the lady on 10 years route because the man did not show up all the taxes paid into the United Kingdom. So he declared only 7,000 pounds and he did not give it to the government and did not give his document to the government and only used his child document for the woman. They brought each other to my desk for advice. I gave the advice. 
But at the end of the day, because he, know, he knows where I stand in the situation of domestic abuse, he did not allow the lady to return for full application because he knows I'll be going for the five years route. So he did the application by himself and messed the whole thing up. So they only managed in the end to give that lady on a 10 years route based on her child. Meanwhile, she's still living with her husband and she's on a spouse visa. She's supposed to continue on the five years route. So Mombo, me too, Hello? Hello? Yeah, he he hello dear. Yeah. 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 What happened is, is three ways. They said if you know your problem, then you can solve it. So number one is at least we know there's a prophetess. So the guy needed deliverance, proper deliverance. So <laughs> either it's kids or something, he need a deliverance definitely. That's number one. Number two, emotional abuse is a very bad emotion. Emotional abuse is very, very tricky. I'm glad, I'm glad it's the man that calls him. Yeah. It physically, but it can damage the lady for life. Hmm. Self-esteem, confidence, motivation it will damage it have for life so the third one is that if i'm in the very shoe when there's life there's hope if, if mr a don't do it for you mr god will raise somebody else to do it for you i always say that if you don't help me if god say you're not going to help me god will raise somebody else to help me god really want to help me yeah, right. so if he's waiting for the man instead of the man damaging me damaging her she's not going to ask for her children because emotional abuse is very very bad like 30 40 years she will lose everything to regain the self esteem and self confidence. Take time. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Let's carry on, oh. But you know the number we are on, so you can join us anytime with the number. But let's carry on and join ourselves. Why last? So, what exactly do you want me to do for you, madam? What is the name of the women organization that you said you are with? Solis. Solis. And where are they? I'm in the um, Sodok. I even came to this one in Bolich. They call it um, Migrants Home. Because all these people they have said, they promised to give me supporting documents at any time if there's anything I need. Wow. So you are considering moving out of the house? Yes. Normally those who know me in the community knows that I don't normally encourage women to leave. But the situation where you are this the situation you are at the moment now, there is no two ways about it. it. If you don't come out of the situation, the situation will come on top of you, you know, because you are in an abusive relationship, but it's not physical, you know. Emotionally, you are being um, tormented. Psychologically, you can see that you have been tormented. tormented. So, um, <clears throat> could we not relate to Solis and know exactly what they plan? To do for you first before I can give my own advice in this situation. You know, I think we should relate to them first and, and know what they are doing. Because um the home office home office will need to be notified as soon as possible that you are getting out or you are out. To do that there has to be a letter from both the organizations that you have had contact with lately. You know, clean your uh, wipe your face, madam. Wipe your face. Wipe your face. It's a total domestic violence. Um, Hello, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Ah, I I see this all, nearly all the time. Did you say that he goes to Nigeria to 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 to, to humanize or what are you saying? Or is he married in Nigeria? I'm surprised he's married. But he's currently going out with a prophetess. In Nigeria, yes. oh my God! And the prophetess is married. Well, he's taking her, he's taking her out of her husband's house. So maybe she's still not married. He, he has taken that prophetess out of the husband's house. 
So the, uh, the prophetess was married before. This man has taken the prophetess the out of her husband's house. Open the carry factory back home. Hold on a minute. Rented a rented a shop for the prophetess and rented a house. The, he, the man rented a shop for the prophetess and rent a house. Rent shop and rent a house for the uh, for the prophetess and ignore his responsibility here in the UK. Carry on. And this prophetess holds a church. Holds a church. Holds a church. This prophetess doesn't hold a church. She has a. I have met with your man anyway because he has come to this office, so I know, I know, I know. And I've seen the man, I've seen this man, woman's you know, husband before. So they both, the they have both come to my office. Has he married to another woman before in the UK? Has he ever married to anyone before? Yes. And this will He has married to another person before, yes. but he's not tell you. He only told me he has a child. He only told you that he has a child. Yes. So are you saying he's got more than the child now? Yeah, the man is in his trap. Definitely. He told me he had a child. So when I came, that period I came, that same year, I came, because I came in September, so when I was cleaning the house before Christmas, I did a deep clean of his house. I took out everything. Then I saw, I saw the album where he hid it under the carpet. Under he hid an al album, marriage album. Wedding album. Wedding album. Everything. Okay, bye -bye. Wow. Madam, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, please. The story for today is a very good and very grand story because it's happening all over. I myself am in a, a personal, you know, witness of this. But luckily for me, I came into the UK in under spouse and settlement visa with my husband. And uh, luckily, it was just two years then, you know. But in my own case, you know, I've finalized my my papers. I have my British passport now, they will be to go. But one thing is that, unfortunately for these guys, I don't know, like many people have said, Oh, I don't know how to say this in English. I'm sorry, that's why I'm saying that in English. But <laughs> it is not normal. So you understand that? It is not normal. Because how could you, like you said, the man obviously loved the woman, for him to have spent a lot of money like that to bring her down to the UK. And now things just turned over. All of a sudden, something is fishy. But all I will say about this is, but in the pay, when it is, you know, the men every time they are always going to Niger. The wife, I'm telling, I'm talking from my own experience, so she would take notes. That was my own problem, you know. Initially, I never take notes. So, hold on, madam, hold on. You are saying that if a man is constantly going to Nigeria, then yes, he, then his wife needs to start checking on him. Keep an eye on him and see what he's doing there. Why he's so much yeah, interested in going there all the time. That's it. Because those women that we have in Nigeria, or if the woman has the time, let her follow the husband. I'm telling you, because even when this thing happened, the husband family, they even blamed me. You know, hmm. I could do even allow her to go back to Nigeria. You know, because they just saw what he was doing. And let me tell you, we now ended up. You know, marrying the one local address, hmm. you can imagine. Local address, I called him the other time. I was the one that had three girls. And I said, because I don't have a boy. I was the one that called the other time on your show. Okay, okay. You know? okay. Yeah, you remember. So, because in local, and the, the, all the brothers will call me and they will keep telling me, he will be in the car waiting for the woman to go to the market for three hours, four hours. In particular, she In particular, she In particular, she What's it there for me? What's it there for? You don't chop vegetable. A man of 56 looking at 60. So do you have some of it? What's it there for? What's it there for? What's it there for? What's it there for? But I knew I need no one to tell me. Like I told you the other time, all the things we did together, property at home, you know, to everyone you don't want to be. Because you can't be a little bit of my family to leave it to him, you know? Just believe it. Mm. No, I'm not here. Because we don't know what the woman is 
Benny, they are very dangerous. I want, I want to bring Nigeria. I want to bring Nigeria and dangerous. Ah! That is why I said. I want to bring Nigeria and dangerous. They are very desperate to get anything they want. I want to guess why Nigeria. Ah! Hmm. Benny! Hmm. So, I think that's what is happening in the case of that woman. The lady is still unfortunately to the prophetess. I want to prophetess. I want to go to the prophetess. I want to go to the I Take care of the children that he had before he married them. That is the ironic part of it. If you don't be me, no junior, one bear for Labata, only Obeshe, I know no bear for Labata, one for your kidney county. I need to know the man who said, I'm not going to be my body, or in my babble, or that my babble, or that you're in my dad's chef or man, you mean that. I won't wait there, I'm not doing it. Hey, Jaro, nobody. Do you allow me a Jaro, nobody? I'm me. I'm not a DJ. I'm me. Serious method, man. You know, go gaga. Oh my, you go go wa. They even open the factory. They set up a factory overnight. No, but our car factory here. Kini gari factory. La be okuta. Oh, but now our woman, all of them, full woman, have been perfectly. No, we can call it our. We have been seeing share. We have been share. But anyhow, once a salary, once anything, man. What did you do? Work overnight. Aye, you must find jobs and go into the shop. Around that period as well. 
and this prophetess own a church. No, she doesn't own a church. She goes. She's under. She has a. I have met with your man anyway because he has come to this office, so I know. I know. He. I not not that I know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, please Hello. go ahead. Yes. From 31st of March, down at the, 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 the new definition of domestic violence. Yeah, please go, ahead. please go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay, yeah, I just want to call it, contribute a little bit, yeah. Any form of abuse is not acceptable in our society. And not just only here in abroad, even back home. Hmm. And I think it's a time we women have to rally around each other, to support each other and to enlighten each other. Hmm. It's at that time we should not be just tell about each other. Hmm. Don't leave your husband's home. Hmm. Stay there because of the children. Because sometimes staying there, you are actually abusing those children as a mother. Because what they are going through, the children are saying will be a replicant of who they're going to be tomorrow. A son that is his father abusing his mother, both physically Personally, verbally, financial, sexual abuse, neglect, they will definitely take one of it and, you know, use it in their own marital home in the future. In this case, that women have children. But as long as that woman is married to that man legally, Either legally or even not, if they are in relationship and wish she can prove it, and in this case it can be proven, she doesn't have to stress herself. Like she has told you, she's been in contact with some organization. Please like and share, please, please share it. Abuse. You can share it, please. It's very important that we share so that everybody can benefit from it. At least one one on your platform or do it on the watch party, please. Let's share it. Because we, Madam, please, sorry. Sometimes we get carried away. We don't share on time so that other can benefit. We still need more people to um, benefit from this program so that they know what to do. A lot of people are going through the, the same problem at the moment. And it's only by sharing the program that others can they will be able to know what is happening and, and take advice at the beginning of it instead of leaving it too late. So please, let us share. Don't just let us watch, and, uh, watch it for the purpose of just having fun. Let us share it on our platform, on our timeline, please. Please go ahead, madam. Oh, okay. right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So in this case, this woman has stated to you that she has contacted some organizations which they are a bit of support to her. However, I can give um, another information, which is a um, National Center for Domestic Violence. It's a national organization that helps women. Because our fear is to get a document in this country. And like you have given a legal advice that she needs to inform the office of her action of leaving the house. National and Center of Domestic Violence. Sorted and settled. Did you say National Center of Domestic? Yes, National Center for Domestic, of domestic Violence, yeah. And I will say that, you know, like you've already um, analyzed and abusive and emotional you know, um, um, emotional is an abuse as well, so it doesn't have to be physical. So this woman needs to get in touch with them, get, you know, go to AC, we'll get the number, and um, get in touch with them, they will be of a great support. Mm. And it's a high time that women need to take action. People are saying that, you know, uh, I will just want to use your back issue to last time. And you can only report it. Mm. And it's your I know that there are a lot of things going on out there, but it's a high time. This, our men, needs to realize that all this problem they are causing, is not just for the wife, it's even to their own future and affect generations mm -hmm. to come. It affects their own children and it will affect their own generations, first generations to come. Mm -hmm. So it, they should stop it. I think there should be a platform. You know, I know some men are listening to you on your platform, but there should be a platform whereby this woman, this men have to be honest to themselves, have to speak up as well. If there is something they are dealing with, they don't know how to handle it, there should be a platform for them to be voiced out. 
It's not about trying to have a Samaritan affair and don't know how to undo it. I am not a courageous as a Samaritan affair, but people have seen men applicants in nature. However, they have to know how to go about Yes, ma ma madam, 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 let me correct that area. There is no way you can handle two things at the same time and love them equally. It's impossible. Here's the reason why there's a problem in marriage. It is impossible. That is why I it's impossible to have two women together. So they are lying. Even those people that call themselves rich people, having four or five wives, they don't love them equally. It's just about being... I get your point, madam. It's just about being honest to each other. You know, sometimes there are temptations. As far as these men are having temptation, women are having temptation as well. They, they don't know that. I want to them on here. They think they think we are immune, but we are we have special power. They don't know that we too go through temptation. Yes, but you just yes. have to resist it it's because of dignity it, and credibility. It, 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 the special power is we, we have is a self respect and self discipline. Exactly. Thank that you. Is the power the woman has. has. Exactly. So they should be able to respect themselves, to respect their home, value their marriage. There's no any wonderful marriage or lovely marriage that doesn't go through any challenges or conflict. Mm -hmm. But it is how it's been handled. Correct. So please, all these men, this woman should, you know, should take necessary steps. She, she will get the help as far as this man must. And with her all the way from Nigeria, and you know, I know people were saying this man loves her. That's why she brought her all the way from Nigeria. What kind of love? Hmm. If you truly love somebody, you love love them to the hand. Hmm. She has uprooted this woman from where she have her own community, her own family, and come and drop her here in UK just to be here, just to be showing that I'm a married because I'm sure that particular man. Uh, don't be able to play his card properly in this app because women are abroad and able to open his book chapter by chapter. I know the kind of person he is. That's why I went back to Nigeria to go and bring a novice that doesn't know what is going on in the system. Mm. Yes, there are more thousand and one million women in abroad. So he, he, he did not have anyone to choose from. We have to read between the lines. Yes. I don't know how old is this man and how old is this woman. Sometimes the generation gap, apart from the woman and woman, it doesn't make them to see. They can't reason in the same way. They can't reason in the same manner. And every little thing will bring an attack will bring a conflict in their home. Mm hmm a man that has a gap about 20, 10 years upward between wife and husband. I'm thinking there, is, there won't be any love, but sometimes it does bring a conflict because they're still living in a, in a different generation, different thinking. And it, it's a two, you know, it's a two generation apart, 10 years apart. And sometimes it's more, and you will see those things does affect if those men and women are not current and not ready to work together as a union. This woman should take a necessary step. If even possible, that man needs to pay for it. We, the man needs to be good for other men to learn. Hmm. There should be a slave good for other men to to to, to, to learn. Hmm. It's because he has documents. He can he can play, you know. He's relying on his red passport or whatever. So when you you abuse somebody domestically abuse, it my dear, he has a big effect on your uh, see Harvey. Yes. Exactly. There has to be taught a lesson. Some men need to be taught a detective lesson so that other men from them could learn. Hmm. I am not a woman as saints, but for if it takes a woman, it takes a man or a woman to be to be to to, to be broken into pieces for that woman to say, No, I want to look outside. Hmm. That woman has been broken. Hmm. Because some men will be arguing that if a woman to do do it, they do the prostitution, they do cheat in, in, in their marriage. But if you look up after your marriage and if there's any conflict, you find a way, a resolution to do it, you know, that women we are more than ready to submit, to be submissive at any time. And let me shock so the whole... woman should take the data three steps. Mm -hmm. Let me shock people on the platform. They have not been on the same bed for the past three years. They sleep apart. 
Uh, two years, really? two and a half years. They sleep so apart. That, that, mar that marriage is gone already. Yes, and There's he has no never since since, no since since anymore. for the past two years now he has not. They've not had sex together. Let us even spell it out. They've not had sex together for the past two years. Yes. That marriage is gone. Somebody say ha. What yes. What sex is part not, of things as sex marriage. Yes, they've not. They've not part of things, but however, at some time. You they know, have not slept on the man, same bed. Be like, oh, she's denying me of sex. So they, somebody you have emotionally, they, yes, mentally they, they, abused. How can that woman have a feeling anymore? Yes, they, and they have not slept on the same bed for over two years. And financially, it's very abusive. It's not assisting at all. Now, they contributed and bought some land because the lady, she has so many ideas about business. They bought land together, big, massive acres of land to create a Gary factory, cassava. They started it successfully. In between, he shook her out of the business and put the prophetess there and hand over all the keys to the houses that they built together to the lady. The lady is now going around, the so-called prophetess, going around and, and, and chesting out that she's the madam in the house, telling all the workers, not paying salary. Every morning, every now and then, tell the guy to send money, but he will not pay salary. And she, she will not pay salary to the workers. That's my prophetess. How, how, how wicked can that be? How uh, wicked? How wicked can that be? If you see this lady, that the, the wife, when she came be? to when she came to my office last week of week, week before, you will feel sorry for her. And this is how I see them all the time when they come to cry on my shoulder. So it is not a them say. But she just gave me the allowance and said, Madam, record it and let other try to make common sense from my mistake, from my situation. She said she's doing very well in Nigeria. And she said she's was very happy. Although they have known each other for over 10 years before she they, before she came to UK to join to join him in this country. You know? The woman yes. should pick up, that woman, woman should pick her phone and cry to the right of authority. Let her pick her phone and cry out for help, for those who can help. They will help yeah. her. We are in England. We are, we are in abroad. She didn't come here illegal. Even if she's here illegal, as well as concerned the domestic, they will handle the situation differently. Exactly. Being illegal immigrant is different from being abusive as a person. They will mm -hmm. handle them differently, amicably. So the issue is she, she should call. She mm -hmm. call for help. She should cry for those. I know you are helping her as well. Please, sign both out to the right direction. Mm -hmm. She should start calling these people. They will give her a shelter. She might end up, you know, have to share something, for, but it, it's a stepping stone. She will get there. Hmm. If she's a very hardworking lady, she's a very, very, very. person, she will pick herself up again. The longer she's staying there, she... Hmm. Everything. She'll be down. Hmm. Before she knows it, you don't make a cause Cut her yeah, weary. Yeah, it's cut her yeah, weary. Because she's she's really crying and oh oh oh, oh yeah, and got out of hand now. I think the whole thing is just in a mess now. Thank you, madam. Thank you. We are on zero seven nine zero eight six two eight two four zero. Please, Ebawa, that's all or ye. Killer in VC. What are you saying? What do you think? She came to United Kingdom on a spouse visa. Her husband brought her into the country with a spouse visa two and a half years. By the time they were coming to the end of the two and a half years, they were supposed to put documentation together for a renewal. The husband came to, to my office for advice, both of them. Husband and wife came for advice. But the husband knew that I will, make sure, I will get the uh, application done successfully on the five years road. So the husband decided to do the application by himself and said that he should not, she should not come to lawyer to do the uh, application. That why, why, why must she waste money? Please go ahead. That she must not use lawyer to do it, to do it. That why must she use lawyer? So at the end of the day, they 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 husband make application on a fight basis. They end up giving them ten uh, ten years route because the husband refused to submit the income documentation for the home office to assess the threshold whether he met the income rules. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you for the show. Really. Thank you. Thank you for the show. Really. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Uh, one thing I will say is that uh, I really sympathize with the lady. is so mm -hmm. sad. But my opinion here is that it has happened to has happened. There's no problem with our solution. I think what the lady needs to do, first mm -hmm. of all, 
And it's not easy, but we need to get ourselves together. She understands the man. I'm with um, you. What is Shelly? The lady, I know it's not, it's not easy, as we say, but she needs to get herself together. She's in a abroad. And she needs to know how to like, you know, legalize her status, move on with her status, and cry to the government of UK to where they can come in help to help her and get a shelter for her. As soon as they get a shelter for her, I know it's not easy. She should try and a little bit try to, to, to take it off her mind and zero her mind and move on with the life. Bless me, ma, the man is coming back, but it will be too late. Because wh when you, when you say the man is coming back, what I, I see you, there, the man will still come back to that lady. She's that the girl. she's the one that will pick up the dirty linen. Too late. Uh -huh. That is the thing. It will be too late by the time she comes back. Exactly. Do you understand? I, I'm, a, I'm an example. I'm an example. It's even happened to me right now. That hmm? is why I enjoy this story. I bring my husband to UK. I know how much he calls me. You know me very well. I've been in your office. It was denied for the first time. My my head, so, head uh, subtracted, wasted. I put in another one. He's in UK now. He has renewed two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And for him to be talking to ex girlfriend and some of his relatives, they were telling him that he should wait until he gets in the state hmm. before he will strike. That if he strikes now. I may not be able to put the supporting document down for indemnity. I know everything, but I pretend because someone called me and said, I'm going to tell you, keep it to yourself. Hmm. The only advice I'm going to give women now is that we women will need to wake up. Don't, uh, there's a the adage that says, don't put all your eggs in one basket. In one basket. We husband will be with husband where you have. One uh, twenty pound, you can so you can so you and your husband can have five pounds together. Let fifteen pound be yours because your husband pay kini kini one only he has to kini to me. Can you understand? I want to learn to see what that be our papa wa. Ever the carton la wa. So when you are playing with them, always hope for good things and the planning for the evil day. Hmm. So that when it happens, it will only shake you. It will not, because I can feel what the woman is feeling. He has put all what she has with the man. This is a lesson for we women now. We don't need to put everything together with the man. No. If I have 100 pounds, I will, so I will put 50 pounds with him, and 50 pounds, I will keep it for me. Because I am one of my money, only my job will be remembered. Ali and we be there with us. We have a lot of. They will not rise up and say we will continue on to just share for more. Fair more. I know more. I know you can share them. That is why we need to learn from our mistake. We share them. See me love one more. We will do not. That is why we call we share by the minute to on to auto strike. Even now there is road. We should not have a lie in the past. But only by the minute. I will make sure it is the guy in the room, whether he likes it or not. Share the most wicked. Some people they pretend, a oh, man pretending me. Shall the woman protest me? What you call, what you call my tongue? What you call, 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 many men, many men from the diaspora are in that. What we are doing, Beku. Time we are going to finish. Let me. I want to care that they can come along. Are you going to budget? Because we both want to continue. We want to get busy. We want to delay some more. We want to delay some more. Many of them cannot even speak out anymore. They are in trouble. This is a lesson for we women. Women, I want to bring a jacket. They can wake up. Are you the one that is going to come back? But now she's in, in, in the UK. Coco, it's not easy as we are saying it, but I don't want to say, oh no, my courage, God will encourage that. God will give us the strength to move on. 
Mm. 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 I'm a woman, but I, I act like a man now because of what I've gone through in the hand of men. Hmm. So that he's strong, so that he's today. I'm very advocating. Because what you can do, I can do it. More the real but talking about from your mama to the move anymore. Because I always prepare my ground before you come to me. Hmm. I will always hope for the best and plan for the worst, hmm. so that when the worst comes, it will not put me on the floor. I will hmm. be able to rise again. Hmm. So that is my advice for you. It has happened as I have Let's have the prayer for Sherry Kinney as you are in the It's only prayer. And because she was alone with the shame. And the king prevented the commercial was about when God is ready to fight for that woman, God will fight. God will fight. And then for that woman, God will enlighten her, God will be with her. She needs prayer at this moment. Exactly. After this platform, she should not go to anybody. She has come to you, she has anything you tell her, and what the government do, she should stay by it. Tell her not to take advice from anybody. She just focus and start praying. That's mm. it. Thank and you. And God will see her through. Yes, thank you. All right. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye. When I talk about the issue of domestic violence, mm. you know, violence, it is not just physical, emotionally, financially, sexually, mm. everything. The court of law recognizes it financially, sexually, emotionally. They do recognize it. Good afternoon. So it's not about physical abuse. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Um, I would like to contribute to the program, please. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Um, hello. Yeah, please go ahead. I'm with you. Oh, okay. Um, it's just regarding the lady. I think. The best thing is for the woman to leave because I've been in this situation before and my main fear was that I was going to be, be deported back to Nigeria. How uh, will I survive? My child was going to be taken away from me. Putting that into consideration and thinking of my friends, I'm going to be like, behind us in Nigeria. We believe the woman is the problem. But Decide, when I decided to leave this guy, I didn't know there was help in the UK for me. And I was introduced to different organizations. Mm -hmm. But most of them wasn't really had, ready to help because I wasn't entitled to public funds. And um, I went to teacher services. Teacher services who wasn't, because when they spoke to my ex, you know, he was so good in lying and pretending. <laughs> mm. So they believed his story even more than high. Until I went to another organization, they called them Start of Black Sister. With her own situation, they would be the ones to put in the application for her. So she wouldn't have to do anything, but she needs to be ready to leave the guy, to leave the guy, the mm. man. So if she can go to those organizations, I believe she will get the help she needs. If she is ready to leave the guy, to leave the man. Exactly. If she is, because the main thing is she needs to be sure she, she wants to leave this man. Because if we are all saying, oh, you need to leave, you need to leave. And she has not make up her mind to leave. It's going to be a problem. Because that was what I, I was, you know, that was one of the reasons why I was staying with this guy. Because I wasn't ready to leave him as of the time. I still wanted to continue the relationship, so I was being abused. Until I decided that, oh, I needed a better life for my child, I needed a better life for myself. I don't want my child to grow up in this situation because, like what the other people have been saying, like my, my partner, my ex partner, the, um, is the way the dad, his own dad has been treating his mother, is the way he's behaving now. Because he believes that's the way to live with a woman. Exactly. So I think the woman now needs to make up her mind that she she wants to leave this guy, and she, she it's gonna it's not something that's still gonna happen in a day or in two days. It's gonna like me. It took me like almost a year, but I'm in a better place and I have my own accommodation. Mm. My child stay with me. I'm happy. Mm. 
So the woman needs to make up her mind that she's ready to leave this guy and she, she's ready to receive any support they want to provide to her. If she can go to this organization I just said earlier, Start of Black Sister, Start of Black Sister, they're really going to support and help her. But she needs to say the whole truth without hiding anything. Because with my own situation as a as a, a partner from Nigeria, they were gonna they they were the one that put in the application for me. Mm. They provided me accommodation before I was then sent to refuge after I got my leave to remain then I, I was moved to the refuge where I finally did everything I need to do and where I am right now. Yeah, if she if she follow my advice accurately, she will get indefinite leave to remain before the anticipated original five years route safe. Not to now talk of 10 years route that the husband put her. If she follow my advice correctly, she will get indefinite leave to remain by next year. Because they will take her off completely. That's yes. That's what I'm saying. She yes. needs to be ready. To yes, but she, 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 she's there. a bit skeptical and very unsure financially in terms of paying rent. And I told her that she should not be unsure. Because they are living in the council house that the husband claim in his own name alone. Meanwhile, by now, they're supposed to go to the council and let the council know that she's now in the property. In fact, she has been in the property for the past three years, four years that she entered the UK. But the husband has not said to the, You know, they have not told council. Because my ex made me to believe that if I leave this property, after one month, I was going to come back to begging. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the that's what he that's why what. I think he helped me to get out of the country. We need to, we need more knowledge because if I knew there was help for me in the UK, mm -hmm. I wouldn't stay with that guy. Mm -hmm. I would leave immediately. I know that this was an abuse. Mm -hmm. But there's so, so, so lot of help for us. If you don't have accommodation, they're going to provide her accommodation, feeding, and everything else she will need. Mm -hmm. She needs to forget about everything she. When I left my partner, I didn't take a, a cloth with me. I just left with my child and mm -hmm. what I had on. Exactly, exactly. I have, I have, I have told her already, and I've given good advice on that. And let her know that. Listen, the choice is now yours. You are an adult, but the way I see things, I think your husband needs deliverance. I think he's in a hook. He's in a situation that he, it is only the hand of God that can take him out now, as we speak. But in the meantime, while we are still accepting that it's the hand of God that can take him out. There is every possibility that if care is not taken, someone might die in between it, or someone might, yeah, someone can, it's possible someone can, yeah, can die. Yeah. 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 If care is not taken, because if they see that it's not functioning well, exactly. you need to put her child, her child is not the top priority for her, not exactly. the man anymore. But from my whole little experience, I think maybe she's in love with that man, and she's still thinking the man will change someday. Exactly, that's just the situation that anyway. When concerned, then I was more worried about my man, about my ex then, mm. than my child. But when I start putting my child as a top priority, then I know that I needed to leave this, this person. It's not a safe environment for Please let child. us like and share this program. As you are coming on, please just put your button on and share it once. You know, that is the only way we can assist others no, that are in a similar need, situation. Need to, need to Let's like and share program, and please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No one. Yes. So let us allow others to call in as well. Let us allow others. We are on zero seven nine zero eight six two eight two four zero. Please show your love button. Please show your love button. We are on zero seven nine zero eight six two eight two four zero. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, dear. How are you? Employment. Anyway, there is a habit that says any problem that does not kill you will only make you strong. Mm -hmm. The first point is the woman, the woman needs to be calculating. This woman needs to be calculating and she has to have read between the lines the sort of man she married. And it's also teaching us women, as ladies that we need to be calculating in any relationship. Observe, mm -hmm. we should do our observations and know the kind of person we are dealing with. And a woman said, put your heads in one basket. I think that's a valid advice. Hmm. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just try and diversify. 
You can do some with the man and then keep some to yourself and for your children. Do a lot of your investment in your own name and the name of your own children in case of problem, in case of the future, in case of all the strange women when they come in. Do a lot of your own investment in your own name and the name of your children. It's very, very important. And in this situation, there is more to this problem. There is more to this uh, situation. The prophetess obviously would have used all sorts of colored candles hmm. to tie this man down. Hmm. So it, it is not ordinary. Hmm. Because she's a prophetess, she knows all the things she can do. She knows all the candles she can buy, all the kind of evil prayer, evil and demonic prayer she can do, you know, to tie this man down. So it is not even ordinary at all. Hmm. This man is not even in his own right senses. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Hmm. Because how can you as a prophetess, you know that this man is married, he has a wife, you know that the man is coming from somewhere. Look at all the investment that he has done with his previous wife. And now you say you are the owner of the house, you're doing whatever you and then you're not even paying salary to the staff. Other people are even suffering. Mm -hmm. So what kind of a Christian are you? Do you read your Bible at all? People are laboring for you, people are sweating, and you are not paying them their salary. Mm -hmm. What kind of a Christian are you? What kind of a prophetess is this? And also, this woman that came to you, she needs to be prayerful. Hmm. She needs to be prayerful. She needs to dedicate her life to Christ so that she will not be attacked. So that she will not be attacked and her children. She needs to be seriously prayerful and dedicate her life afresh so that this so-called prophetess will not attack her. Because the prophetess will be looking for ways to just take the woman out of the way. Hmm. So that nobody will be talking about her. That's the next thing she will be thinking about, just to remove the woman out of the way, you know. And then this woman, she needs to pull herself together. It has happened, we know that, and it's not easy. Mm. And that's why she was crying when she came to your office. It is not easy, we know it. This is an emotional problem for her. But even at that, she needs to pull herself together. She needs to make herself happy. She needs to find her own happiness. And she needs to find her own peace of mind. She needs to pull up. I know it's not easy. Mm. But how can she do this? She needs to associate more with other people, be friends with other people. If mm. you can watch TV, do. If you can play sports, do. If you can go out, do. If you can get support, you know, from all these organizations people are mentioning, please do. Mm. Pull yourself together. Encourage yourself. No one can do it for you. You need to encourage yourself. Look at what will make you happy. What mm -hmm. are the things that can make you happy? Is it by reading novels? Or is it by going for further education and all that? Thank God she's a good woman who knows how to invest properly. If she pull herself together again, then she will start doing her own investment on her own. She mm -hmm. will do it on her own. And in the name of... Mm -hmm. I know it's easy. We, we women, a lot of us are suffering and all that emotional abuse, physical abuse and all that. But it's only God that can help us. But most importantly, she needs to pull herself together. She needs to encourage herself. She should stop crying. That's the plan of the devil. The devil wants to make her be crying all the time. The devil wants to see her crying so that they will be jubilating in the other side. She needs to stop crying. She needs to wipe her eyes and move mm. on. The Lord will help her. The Lord will console her. The mm. Lord will strengthen her. And then the Lord will raise her up for her. Help us of destiny. They will locate her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. my point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see and can hear, there is so much happening. Now, the situation where she is now is to have confidence to, to, to move out of the house, rent apartment, and that she can get move in with her child. Because ordinary clothing for the child, the man never assists her. There is no any assistance coming from him any longer. You understand? All the money is sent Hello. to Nigeria. Hello. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, uh, can I please put a question on you? So uh, maybe maybe I'm going to direct your topic because I have one question, general question. If you are on the same topic with us, me. no. If you are on the same topic with us, that's fine. If I? Are you asking questions on the same topic? No, no. Actually, no. it's a bit out from the topic. No, no, I can't deal with another topic now. No, no, no. Call, call me when I'm dealing with a similar topic of yours. Okay. Thank you very much. I cannot allow myself to be diverted on my topic. So if you are going to call in, make sure you are calling in on the question of whether the woman in question 
she continued to live in the house with her husband that is abusing her. For, don't forget that she came to United Kingdom on a spouse visa, so she has not overstayed her visa. When it was the right time for her to submit an application for the next uh, extension of five years leave to remain, the husband decided to make application and change it to 10 years unaware, uh, so that the, the woman would not have control over things. The question I want to ask you, and that she asked me to ask you, is whether she should continue to remain in the house and continue to take the uh, 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 abuse. You know, that's the question we are asking you to advise us on. Do you want her to remain in the house because of her status? Or you want her to get out before it will be too late for her? You know, it's a matter of you saying the question and answering us, you know. That's what we are asking. Do you want her to remain or do you want her to come out? You know, that's what we want to know. I'm on 07908-628240, WhatsApp only. You know, WhatsApp only. You know, WhatsApp only. WhatsApp only. 07908-628240. Do you want her to continue in that relationship until she gets her final stay? Or you want her to get out of it now before it is too late for her? And if you want to know, you can again. Let's go back to the video. is under spell, madam. You said he's going out with a, yeah. a woman. Yeah. A prophetess. And she's a prophetess in Nigeria. This man did not allow me to go to Nigeria. I have a daughter in Nigeria. Hello. When I want to go to Nigeria, I tell him who I'm planning to go to Nigeria before you want to book the tickets. I'll send you a little bit to it, ma'am. You can check it where you want to go. I need to go and see my daughter. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, don't worry, I'll be seeing that for you. You are definitely in an abusive relationship, madam. I have not seen my daughter in six years. <sighs> you promised to bring this girl for me. Okay, now, yesterday I was telling him, my daughter, please, put in her application. Mm -hmm. Please, my daughter, like this. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why I came. Mm -hmm. My daughter, like you. They won't, don't worry, it's okay. I'll move out now. How do I bring my daughter? Yes. So, the situation here is that she, must she do you want her to remain in the house or do you want her to come out of the house the question we are asking is can she continue to stay in there enjoy it or you want her to come out ladies and gentlemen we are on 07908 628240 hmm yeah, zero seven nine zero eight six two eight two four zero. Princess Godia said that no, she cannot remain there. She, she and her children, she, she needs to go to refuge center. So if you are listening to us, the advice is that you cannot continue to remain in that relationship. You need to come out of it. The majority of the questions, uh, the answers here is that come out, please. Come out, please, is what people are saying. Come out, please. You cannot continue to remain there. To come out, please. Miss uh, Akin said that. You know, the law will threaten you and she needs to move on. They said the law will threaten you. You need to move on. Next caller, please. We are on 0790862240. I'm a woman with time. I control time. So if you're not there, you are not there. But if you are there, try as much as possible to see if you can join us without any backlog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chiba. 
fe gba iwe igbe lo ni lo yinbo kan si agbejoro agba iya afin to kun bo olagbaye lori era aye lo jara facebook tabi lori youtube tabi lori instagram o si le pe won si le ise won brightway immigration and asylum practitioners lori ero 0208309888 tabi ni ilu eko sore ero ibare ni sore yi 0813456631 Mr. Osanya de Erahon says she should endure it. There is nothing like having a permanent residence. And you endure it and your permanent residence meet you in your graveyard. How about that? You stay in there where there is a solution, where there is alternative. But you fail to take the solution or take the alternative and you continue to remain in that relationship. And then you died. Nobody give permanent residence to a dead body. Nobody gives indefinite leave to remain a British passport to someone that died because of status. So it's a matter of you taking your priority right. Hello. Hello, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, ma? I'm very well, thank you. Well done. God bless you for the job you're doing. Thank you. I want you. to give a little bit of contribution to this um, topic about my mama abusive relationship. I think, or my suggestion would be, I hope she has um, a lot of evidence um, that there has been um, truly domestic violence going on. It's not just about this, they say, they say. A lot of people who are saying she should come out, has she, does she have like Police report. Um, has she you know, gone to a legal, um, legal? Um, um, ad, I mean, has she gone to any legal organization to complain? I have given so advice. That she needs to come up with. I have given so advice. For her to really get um, a good um, um, help from other organizations. Whether she is going to get get um, um, help from organization, the answer is yes. But she needs to also have. Proof that oh this is what is going on because the men I've I've, had, I've got um I've heard of a, a case of someone who has also come to claim domestic violence but the husband has had he has a lot of um, evidence on him on on his own he has a camera in the house that you know shows when the woman even hits the children him himself as well hits the children. From hitting the children, there will be a row, there will be a domestic violence going on. So this man, he is so clever, he has a strong case because he's got a video um, recording for um, these things that is happening in the house. So this woman needs to be smart. Some of these men, they, this, some of these men, they are so, so smart. So she too needs to be very smart. If it, maybe even when they are having this argument or something, she can, you know, secretly put her phone on. Um, recording or something, but she got to come out with an evidence. And it, it is not a good thing. So sorry that she's going through this. She will have, get a lot of help in the UK, but she needs to really come up with an evidence. And the answer is she needs to get out of this place before she, you know, God forbid, we see her cop. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. And the truth is bitter, but the point here is that if she can no longer continue to endure the turmoil, you know, the torment that she's receiving or the, 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 the emotional abuse that she's getting, financial abuse, sexual abuse that she's getting, I, I, I think she needs to get out, you know. A stitching time save none. She needs to get out before it's too late. There are other means of getting status in the UK, my belief. If she carries on to continue to stay in that relationship, they might send her body to her family in the end. So the advice is, she should not hang around. She should not hang around at all. She should not hang around. She should not hang around, you know. You know, she should not hang around. You know, she should not anger and domestic violence is a serious matter and at such I take it very serious when I'm treating this um, topic. Hello? Hello? 
I'll try to take your call because I want to leave. That's why I switch off my. Enter to Bluetooth. <laughs> my Bluetooth, Bluetooth connected. You must work on. Two and a half years, two and a half years. Even two and a half years can still go a long way if she's a serious woman. Yes. And I'm talking out of experience, ma'am. You don't have to fold your hands or look for people to pity you anywhere. Stand your ground, get out, get up, walk with your head high up, and do what you need to do to make a living for your children. Not going the wrong way, I don't mean that. There are so many things in UK that she can lay her hands on and she will make ends meet for herself and for her children. I used to be in such situation and I scaled through it, whether I was with paper or without paper. I scaled through it. I've spoken to you before, ma'am. Mm. You know? So I scaled through it. She can, if I can do it, she can do it. Mr. Adewale, thank you. And welcome back to this platform. Yeah, sorry. You can do it. God, God, God will help her. Amen. God will help her. Hmm. Pick your pieces from now and forth and make something out of your life. The man will see you tomorrow. He will come back to beg. Hmm. He will come back to beg by the time you make yourself. Make yourself up. Stand up to it. There is no issue of fighting in this case. So stand up to it. If it means going to going back to school, then one thing or the other. Or oh, look, there's so many things you can lay your hands on in this country and it will turn to money for you. So many ways. We are not in Nigeria now. That way before you knew it, it will take so long before you can make money. No, here it's easy. It's easy. We are not even relying on uh, uh, people coming because I never ask. I, I am on no recourse to public fund. And I hate to be pitied. Hmm. I hate to be pitied. I, in fact, I hate to be pitied. 
Very good. I like that. Exactly. Even me, I hate it. I hate somebody pitying me. Pitying me for what? When I'm not sick, I'm not dying. I want to go to party and stand out. Yes, now. Say it properly. Let it go louder. Yes, now. Deep it. Deep your, deep your statement. Let people hear you louder. <laughs> they don't carry it on their head, ma. When I enter party, ma. I call, call ma, with you. People, people used to be like, is she really going through anything? I don't want people to pity me. They can talk or anything they want to talk, they talk. But I walk with my head, I up. I up. That's it. That's my yes. woman there. That's my girl. Speak clearly. Yes. Speak I clearly. My daughters. Yes. I have, I have two daughters by the grace of God. I call them a lot in my hands. Mm -hmm. My daughter, the first one, she's doing pretty well. I make sure I occupy her by the grace of God. To God be the glory. She's occupied from when she was a youth man. She started teaching kids when she was 13 years old. That's it. She go to people's house. She was teaching children. From there, she's a bit mad. Carry on. Yes. Carry on. She's doing really well now. She's doing well and she's just in the going to second year in the unit. She has her hands are full. So that it will get it will get to a stage where she still needs me financially. No. And then some people will say we are in British. And yeah, she won't let what she's talking about. Who says, who who says, says so? That? Who said so? Who said so? Who said it to you that they are British? Benny. So thank God she has, I don't know how many children she's got, she has children, she can, they are not give her children to her husband, because I know some men, women do that. Hmm. If, it's, if it's underground that you are living, take your children there, let them live with you, and make sure you give them the good home training. You don't get started. You do that, yes, you do the job of a father and the job of a mother for them, That's and you it. will stand out. This man, I'm talking out of experience, you will stand out. God bless you, ma. They God love, you, they love your, God they love your speech. You, you, you broke all the tables, you know. <laughs> they love your speech. You move all the tables. You shake. You are, you belong to the yes, corridor ma. of power where they make decisions to yes. shake the table. Yes, ma. Yes. yes, ma. Growing up, I've always known my dad to be a very hardworking man. Abike. A very hardworking yes. man. Yes, ma. Yeah, exactly. And he, he, he never spoiled us. Yes. He never spoiled us. We used to be the one cleaning his hotel, doing this, doing that. Every money as he's going out, we are joining. So he has always shown me how to be independent. That's it. Whether with a man or without a man. My no, dear woman, I don't know who you are. If you are listening to me this afternoon, pick your pieces from now and forth. <laughs> exactly. clean, your, clean your tears off. Clean it off. That's it. Even you see him with another woman. But that no suffer, no way. Any woman can take him away, they can deal with his with his attitude. Tora Jacob, Tora Jacob, Eloma Jenny, Ajaku. Benny, Benny, he will come back to you. I'm telling you honestly, he will come back to you, but then, not until you've made yourself. When he come back that time, you can stand, we shake your head and your putters and tell him, you know what? I don't think I need you. Tora Tima D, don't see. I don't think I need you. Oh, you were never he, he, he would have turned to a dirty thing by then. Benny, ma. Benny, ma. It's my dirty. Yes, ma. Yes, you become a leftover. Ma. Exactly. He would have exactly. turned to a dustbin. The same but you see a woman as a dustbin, sometimes men are dustbin as well. If they don't take care yes, of themselves. Ma. By that time, ma, if you want to take him into the unit, take him into the unit. Don't let him be around other women. Don't let him Why would you take him back? That's fine. If she doesn't want that, it's still fine. But why, then, why, would you, why would you take fine. such a man back? Leftover, dirty thing. <laughs> 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 she must have made her point clear. She must have made her point clear. That's fine. But she had her own Zuru, Zuru, Zuru. Don't mind, Gary. Uh, it's the women that suffer it. I see, I've, 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 as if the woman who gave birth to Suru will allow you to kiss Suru for, for her. Exactly. <laughs> it is the women that suffer it. Before you know it, they are big, big. Uh -huh. Big, big is another issue. 
That's that my girl. Like real women. Yes, all ma'am. in the name of endurance. She be? All in the name of endurance. Yes, ma'am. She be? Because all you know is you started following the children you are living for. You don't even have the strength to live for them anymore. I be care. Exactly. For what? Yes, now. A minimum joke, no joy, no joy, yeah. At the legal, no joy, 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 you know who you are, you know what you can do. Yes, now. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody bring you down. One car, nobody get started. No way. Speak on, bro. Mr. Mr. Yeah, you will get it when the time comes. But exactly. But not until you pick your pieces from now. You will get it when that time comes. Ah, uh, what are we talking about? Kill that so gone. No, you are millennial. Uh, what are we talking about? Mr. <laughs> I, lo I love this. I love this. My caller, you break all the table. You are like you are going. Go. Can you call her? Can you give her some love, please? Can you show some love for this caller? <laughs> she breaks all the table. She shakes the table. She moves the table, and she 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 put them back together again. She gets that or she does not get it. Mm -hmm. It's she gets it or she does not get it, but then you must admit it, my dear woman. Yes, now. You must admit it. Yes, now. You must admit it. Yes, by now. By that time, God, the home office, go back where, 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 she's not lazy. Yes, she's now. She's doing this, she's doing that, she's contributing to our economy. Let yes. us give it to her. Yes, now. A, 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 a trophy, a trophy for this caller. Present a trophy for this caller, a trophy for you, boom. <laughs> a trophy for you, a trophy for this caller. I, I present a trophy for, for that's women. a trophy for her. Nigerian boom. women, we are strong. <laughs> present a trophy for you, her. You know, we like to, we will say we want to endure to the end. Is it not strength and power that we are using to want to endure? Oh, yeah, I mean, use strength and power for something positive. Elsewhere, must it be for a man? <laughs> Oh yeah, Milena. Oh yeah, Milena. and power for your children. Love your children no less at all. Yes, give them Make sure you give them hundred percent. A, lo a lot of women they lack they lack uh, what 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 we call confidence. And, I, and as a result of that, they damn good themselves into the hands of a man. For example, Sonia, they sang a song. You can make love without making children. Some women are daft, upstairs. Not this kind of woman, no. Not this kind of uh, gentle woman, no. Some women are down out there. Every relationship kids. Every relationship kids. Every relationship kids. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't make the man change his mind. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't say that that woman, that man will still stay. Oh, she man, love more really, man, love. The one that is born to a girl more really, to a woman to shake my phone. But you know, she near gun, like we know near gun. So the belly of country, I will not go out here later now. But she want not to want to be in. Don't let somebody tell you another story. As it is seen in the man, no want to be in. You know, so go be your back, be your back. You know, there are some men that women doesn't stay in their house for two years or three years. They will always use one excuse or another to live to to leave hey. a man's a woman's house. Why don't they check themselves? That is that shows that their infidelity will never leave them. Their infidelity will never leave them. Some man will die with infidelity, adultery. They will never stop doing it. So no matter what you do, they don't even have they don't have conscience anymore. Yes. Exactly. No matter what you do, you can never change a man that is already into infidelity. Uh, Even if you have you 20 children, you can never tie him down. Use this. You can't at all. Wisdom comes from the above. For her, for her, the children she has for those men, for that her husband. Eh? The tablet for headache is not to cut the head. The tablet for Bay headache, Bay it is not to cut Bay the Bay head. Bay 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 my woman, please pick your pieces. Tell Don't them. Tell them. Let them hear you. Doing something. Doing something. If it means that we, you know, get yourself okay, together, like the other colors have said. Pick up your pieces. Get yourself together and make it whole. Rome was not built in a day. Thank
Thank you. Make it full. Hmm. By the time it sees you, it delays that even to an hour. Yes. Because, hmm. you know, you can also put for your put in for your application. Our the, the, the law is there. You she will put you right. You can also put in for your application. And you yeah. 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 Without yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, what am I there now? Oh, what am I there? Oh, what am I Call her, they fancy you. Call her, they fancy you. Call her, people fancy you on this program. They say, I wish I can see this caller and, and hug you for 30 minutes. When you are not lazy, you cannot be dumped by a man. When you are not lazy. Yes, I'm not calling him. Why you are not lazy? Yes, ma'am. Why you are not lazy? Before we know it, time. When you are not lazy, a man will run after you. Yes. But bear, Allah care me. When you are not lazy. Before we know it, you are 15 years. You are 15 years. You don't have the strength to do anything. It is now. Now. Get up and do it. Get up. This is a, I don't know. This is the only thing I can give to you. I don't know you. I've not met you before. But the little one word I can give to you here, if you can pick one or two things out of it and make use of it, I want to believe that it will benefit. It will benefit you. Thank hmm. you, ma'am, for listening. Bosa, they have given you Bosa, Bosa, Bosa. Well done, well done, well done. In fact, this caller now what for you? Caller, ah ah, caller. Oh, the move about table break. Chai, 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 chai. Wallahi. I like that duo. Yeah, I want a mini. Yeah, I want it. I want a mini. I want it. Yeah, that's not a one. Call a cutima from Uku and B. What's it? Look, call the table. Me gonna tell you. Yeah, that caller. No boss. I don't know. You know, I don't save names. Do you have to care for? Do you know any? I could do a job. Oh yeah, yeah, quickly. I want to leave now. Oh yeah, go on, go on quickly. Hello, go on quickly. I call them now. Hold on. Who is giving red head? What is what is the problem of somebody giving that color red, uh, red head? Why are you giving color red head? Why are you Hello, giving that color red head? Can't, please go ahead. Go ahead.
Exactly. So I don't know why people give him that head. Thank you. Thank you. I will not be able to take calls anymore. Thank you, madam. I will not be able to take calls anymore. Tori, when you have responsibility, you take your responsibility very seriously. I'm a woman that has so much to do. So I don't play around unnecessarily. Let us run to conclusion on this topic. The topic we put out there for the purpose that are just joining us now, you know, for the purpose of those just coming in. The question is, she is on a, she came in on a spouse visa. The question is, the question is, can she continue to stay in this relationship because of her final stay that she's waiting for? Must she continue to stay in that relationship? That's the question. Must she continue to stay in that relationship? Relationship, don't forget, an abusive one. Emotional abuse, not physical one. Financial abuse. You understand? Emotional abuse, tor tormenting someone. You know, a husband not sleeping on the same bed with the wife. You know, it's an emotional abuse. Because she's going through a lot. The husband is not having the same bed. They've not, not had sex for the past two years. The same house. And the, ch the child, they've only got one child together and the child is just coming up. You understand? So if she is not getting satisfaction elsewhere, he will, should have, he should have speak up unless there's a medical reason. But there isn't any medical reason in this situation. Now we have received so much response from people saying that she should not carry on to, to manage that kind of relationship. It's nonsense. It's absolutely not worth managing. Now, if you are given red head, you must be one of the man that has the same attitude. And that's why you are given red head. Or you are the man in question that we are talking about. We didn't mention names here, but I don't care whether my name is mentioned or not. If you are not the man, you must be the same person in that same shoes of that man, treating woman as if they are no, she's nobody. So the reason why you are given red head at this stage is very unknown to me. But quote me, as soon as I find red head, on your name you are going into my being i have zero tolerance for uh, angry faces on my line if you want to show your concern or support for the woman just write it out there when you show red head i will not be able to know that that's what you are trying to tell me that you're not happy with the way that man treats that woman i am going to put you in the bin bin it straight away so if you don't want me to bin you i think we should just sit tight a little bit and correct ourselves so if you have pressed your red head by mistake I have a very, very bad attitude, zero tolerance towards redhead. So go and take it off. We have got so many responses from good people here, male and female. And the response is, she's not expected to remain in that relationship. Because if she dies today, the passport will still go ahead for those who, want, who still want to get it. And the husband will still go ahead with the woman. But the child will suffer or the children in the relationship will suffer. So if you are one of those in that similar situation and you need advice, do not hesitate. Do not hesitate to contact me. I'm on 07908-628240. It is unacceptable to allow such thing to continue in your life because your life should be precious than accepting that. While you are sending me red dead, it's your problem. You're not supposed to be sending me red dead. You have problem with our topic. That's your headache. Because if you're not wicked, a, pa a woman should not be going through that in your hand. So you are that man or the man's friend that is sending me red head or sending one of my color red head. 
but I don't care about your red head at this stage. The advice to that woman is that don't kill yourself in the hands of that man. And the advice to that man is that you need a deliverance. You are in a problem. You are in a situation. You are in a hook. You have got yourself stuck in the hands of a prophetess that has used all the concussion to give you food, drink, and have sex with you at the same time. So you are more or less dying, wine and dying with mommy water prophetess. So you are in trouble, that man. Your family needs to pray for you. You need deliverance. Ladies and gentlemen, I console, I console